moms, you deserve to have a good summer. You do. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living, where I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. So today, I wanted to share with you guys a few things I've purchased over the weekend in order to make our summer, my summer, the summer for my family, a whole lot more bearable. Now, before I start, I do wanna tell you guys, if I had to admit it, I think that summertime is probably my favorite season. Even though I live in Florida and it's extremely hot, I enjoy summers. You guys know I thoroughly enjoy the beach. I enjoy the longer days. Like I just, I just love everything about it. But I gotta be honest with you guys, in the past, I have not manage my time as well as i would like to in the summers like i start off with all these great ideas things that i would like to do and sometimes they just don't happen and another thing that i really struggle with during the summertime is i still work full time so not only this summer will i be working full time but i'll also be working on my youtube channel and just trying to juggle a lot of things including this 100 pound weight loss journey <sighs> it's a lot but i want to have a good time like i don't want to be overwhelmed and stressed and anything that i can combat i want to try to do that so i just want to share with you guys a few things that i've purchased this weekend that i'm hoping will just kind of help help me out a little bit all right so let's go let me show you so first we'll start with the things that i picked up from the grocery store today these are some non-perishable items so the first thing that i picked up are these two cleansers these are both like this is a hospital grade um cleanser and this one is also like a disinfectant they're both disinfectants 99.9% .9 of the germs are also both multi-surface so I got these because the plan is to put one in the kitchen and one in the kids bathroom because before admittedly I used to you know want them to use a toilet bowl cleanser to clean the toilet or to use a special cleanser for the sink I don't care what you use just clean it okay summer 2022 just clean it just take it spray it clean it i don't care use it for the shower use it for the commode use it for whatever just get it clean use it on the floor i don't care okay i don't i don't have time this summer to be bothered in that way right. next thing i purchased today are paper or are these plastic foam they're foam plates and i'm not being funny like usually I try not to buy like lots of plastic or paper. I'm, an, I'm what do they call them? A geriatric millennial and I'm raising a Gen Z. Like, so we try not to buy paper goods, but listen guys, this summer, I have intentions on the kids being a lot more independent as well as lots of get togethers with the nieces and nephews. So I got paper goods this summer and this isn't the only paper good that I got. Let me show you. I actually bought two packs of those foam plates. More like lots of toilet paper so that I don't have to pick it up like as frequently. So I just went ahead and bought it in bulk. As well as tons of paper towels. Now I am all about saving the environment. I mean, I am the girl that went vegan for three and a half years even though it was killing me like i was killing myself for the planet that's a whole nother story but in this case for the summer for the summer months i will be buying more paper goods as you can see here so that is one thing i'm doing for my sanity today at the grocery store i also picked up more dishwasher paws because i know we're gonna have an increased amount of dishes and i don't plan on washing them i plan on having help so load the dishwasher get it going the kids can do that you know so yeah more help and then i picked up like <sighs> okay so let me start by saying this i am one of those people like i i think i would struggle with being a prepper because i don't like to have a lot of stuff i like to have just what's needed and then get rid of it and then get what you need like i don't like to have it's kind of overwhelming for me if i'm completely honest like i don't like to have you know loads like for instance when the pandemic first happened and i had to go out and like buy all of this stuff that was a lot for me like i like to just have what we need use it and move on but for mouthwash i got a large container of mouthwash and i think this should get the kids through the summer i also stocked up on toothpaste for the kids this was actually on sale for 1.99 for 
two of them. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I did stock up on this. And then you guys, this is not an ad. They probably should like <laughs> help me out. But if you have not tried the Dawn Power Wash for cleaning, like particularly pots and pans after cooking, this thing is the holy grail. I'm telling you, I bought two. Usually I just try to buy the refillables, like the little bottom part and reuse this. But for some reason today, these were more affordable than the actual refillable. So these were on sale, so I picked up two of these. And if you have kids that are helping to do dishes, I think these are great because you can just spray it down, let it sit for a little bit, and this, it, it, gets, it gets everything up. So later in this video, I'm gonna show you more things that I purchased for summer camp. But um, our, boy, our boys are going to summer camp this summer, so I definitely picked up um, more sunscreen and i just went ahead and got like the spray one so that they can spray each other what have i been thinking like oh my gosh well i'm i know it's better like supposedly the one you rub in it like penetrates better and it's better for you but they can spray each other like ah oh, i just feel i feel so smart anyways more sunscreen so this should help us um out this summer and then i bought some laundry paws i think i mentioned to you guys before that usually i like to buy the large thing of the liquid laundry because you can your dollar stretches a little bit further but these were on sale today which is great because the kids it allows the kids to be able to do their own laundry and just throw one pod in like instead of i don't know maybe you guys have kids that do it right every time but we don't <laughs> so these allow the kids to just take one toss it in there and not have liquid detergent like running down the dryer <laughs> or just sticky everywhere anyways this is winter i bought these today but they're really it was just buy one get one free and hopefully these do not tear because if they're that cheap and they tear then i'm gonna have to hear it from my husband but yeah non-name brand buy one get one free because I'm expecting to have an increase in trash because we're now using those paper plates. I try not to use a lot of Ziploc bags, but we will be using more Ziploc bags for June, July, and August, just because we will be packing the kids' lunches for, um, for camp. I found this today on sale. It's a non-name brand, but Advanced Recovery Lotion. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but like, we don't do the ashy thing. We try not to, you know, when you're getting out of, when the kids are getting up to go to camp, like hit the lotion, please. Or if you're going out somewhere, especially during the summertime, like hit the lotion. So this was on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up today. Um, again, it's hyperallergenic, non-name brand. It says Top Care Beauty. I don't know, I think that's like store brand, store brand. But I just picked up a large amount so that they can use what's needed um, during the summer. This is another hot household item that I purchased and believe it or not, whenever I buy the large thing of detergent, my family runs through it. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this, but every time I buy the big one, my family just uses it up. But whenever I buy this one, I notice everyone, even me a little bit, like we just dip, dip, and only use what's needed. But you guys try this, like try it out. If you have kids or, that does the dishes like try to get a smaller one and tell me like let me know down in the comment section if this works for you guys as well but what i found is that this lasts longer like i don't know what it is but yeah i picked this up today too just some dawn dish detergent for dishes all right so at this part of the video i just want to move into showing you guys some of the things that we got for our boys and some things we got for camp this weekend okay so in an effort to save money we allowed them to have a budget of 15 dollars to choose which lunch box lunch bag they wanted for camp so one chose this and then the other chose this one they were both under $15 I'll link them down in the description box in case you're interested and they all came in like a gazillion different patterns and different things like that so yeah we have lunch boxes for camp so that way we can save money and not only that but the rule for lunches are going to be if you don't pack your lunch you don't eat like I'm not I am not running lunches up to the up to camp this year this summer i'm not doing it if you don't pack your lunch you just don't eat i know that sounds harsh but if you know your kids and you know how much they like to eat and if you let them know 
if they don't pack it or take it, then they don't eat, I'm pretty sure they'll pack it. And then we got two of these little um, water bottles so that they can have water for camp. And this can like stay within their lunch bag and they just fill it up each day. And then we also got these. And you guys saw where I mentioned we're, we will be using more paper plates. Well, we're not doing paper cups. Like everyone has their own water bottles and like this is your water bottle. And I'm just gonna get over it. Like I'm just gonna speak for myself. Like I put way too much pressure on myself about certain things. Like for instance, here, I'm completely okay now if they bring these to the dinner table. Like, fill up your water and bring it to the dinner table. Fill up your water, bring it for breakfast. Like, sometimes we gotta let go. Like, the dishes don't always have to match at the table, Felicia. They don't. So this is one thing that I will be doing to make my summer a little bit easier for myself. I'll show you guys one more thing that we did as far as buying clothing goes. And give me one second. Okay, so we went to Old Navy and not sponsored, and we allowed them to get new slides because our boys have recently hit another growth spurt. Like, it is insane. Like, I don't know, these kids are just shooting up like weeds, and they're also eating more, so the grocery budget's also going up. But we're dealing with it all. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, like this is not sponsored by Old Navy, but this video's been recorded on Sunday, May 22nd, and we were able to find like lots of shirts, which I think like they're pretty cool. They picked out their own clothes. That's another thing too. I allowed them to pick out their own clothing. So it's something that they're gonna wear. And I tried my best to, to keep them within a certain um, color capsule so that whatever they pick out each day that it matches automatically. Um, it may not work out completely, but this summer I am not going to be so worried about like how they look per se as long as their clothes are clean and they're happy like that is what matters like i am taking so many things off of my plate this summer if you guys would like for me to do a video to talk about some of those things then thumbs up this video i don't mind sharing because i've come to realize with turning 40 that sometimes we put unnecessary pressure on ourselves we really do i can do a whole that's a sermon but yeah so these cute little shirts, I just want to let you guys know, like they were like five bucks at um, Old Navy. And then we also got swim trunks. So at the camp they'll be going to, they'll be doing a lot of swimming. So I just wanted to make sure that they had clothing and swim trunks and, you know, just stuff to wear for the summer. And the truth of the matter is that the goal is to wear it out. Like I do not care if they wear it. They have other clothes not a lot but they do have other clothes so i don't care if they wear the same thing every week it is okay the goal is to wear it out this probably we probably spent about um 150 dollars total on all of their clothing so our daughter got close too so that kind of like drew, drove the price up as well but yeah see i'm like little short I'm just showing you guys some of the stuff. I'm not showing everything, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Um, if you have kids that are going to camp, like it may be beneficial to go through their clothing, try to put like a capsule wardrobe together so that everything matches regardless of what they wear. And then that way, that's one more thing off of your plate that you don't have to worry about. Some of you guys probably do this already, but I will admit that I did a lot for the boys. The girl, girl child, like she's, her clothes aren't even in here because she's already put them up and she has her own style. And like even like with the things that you saw where we purchased, like as far as, um, lotion and all of that stuff goes she's had the opportunity to be away um at college for a while so at this point like she likes her own she has her own brands that she likes so she has an allowance like where she um purchases the things that she needs all right so that is the gist of this video i just wanted to share with you guys the things that i have recently picked up in just this weekend and that i think will make my summer a lot more enjoyable i truly want to spend this summer enjoying my family enjoying a little bit of downtime 
um, creating videos for you guys and content for you guys here on YouTube because I really enjoy YouTube but it's kind of hard whenever your family is on vacation but you're not on vacation and I hope that makes sense to a um, certain extent where you know like you you're out of that routine right like the regular routine and you're in a different routine but for everyone else it's more of a laid back chill type routine but you still gotta you still gotta get up and go to work not you i'll speak for myself i still gotta get up and go to work i still gotta create content for youtube i don't have to but i enjoy it and i'm still trying to lose weight none of that goes away right so these are just a few things i've added into our life that i hope helps make my summer a little bit more enjoyable all right guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye.